This is our first example of doing prime factorization with a factor tree. I'm going to use the number 210. So if I want to factor this number into primes, I start with 210, and then I look at it and I go, okay, so what, what can I separate this into? At least two pieces. You can do three, but then you're getting into some really interesting factor tree methodology there. So I see that there's a 10 in it, because it ends in zero, and there's a 21 in it. <clears throat> okay, well, are either one of those factors? No, uh, I'm sorry, primes? No. So 10 is 5 times 2, and 21 is 3 times 7. Go, oh, wow, look at that. This is a prime, this is a prime, this is a prime, this is a prime. Now this is a very nice and neat organized factor tree. So I can write 2 times 3 times 5 times 7. They don't always end up like this. Nice and symmetric. So suppose I did this. What if I noticed that it was, because it ends in 0, that's an even number, I can, it goes, uh, 2 goes into it. So it's 2 times 105. So here I stop, because 2 is a, fact, is a prime. 105, I see that 5 goes into it, because it ends in 5, so this is 21, and there I have 3 times 7. Well, there's my strangely not so symmetric factor tree. So there's a lot of different ways you can do these, and actually using permutations and combinations that we covered in a previous post, you can figure out how many different ways there are to do it, which might be a fun post in and of itself. So that's how you do prime factorization with the factor tree.